after the wonderful book signing event at Mrs. Dalton's home, she and her daughter Lois drove us to the Hayes Chapel Church. It was one of the special places that I wanted to visit on this trip. Well, it turned out that Mrs. Dalton and her family were lifelong members of Hayes Chapel. As we approached the church, my childhood memories kicked into gear. I noticed how the access road was named Hayes Chapel Drive, a new street sign to me. I only remember going to this place for the burial of family members. I don't think I ever attended a church service or went inside the building. Nevertheless, I knew that there had been a cinder block building there before the newer brick building was built. This place is very close to my heart. When I hopped out of the car, I went directly to where I knew my grandparents, Letty and William Searcy, were buried. Loving segments of my life lay beneath that red clay dirt on that small knoll. I wandered around looking for gravestones of my family my grandparents, my Uncle Otis, my mother's brother, and my cousin Cosmo Hayes and two of his children. As I read the stones, I thought about grandmom's system of naming the members of the family. Everybody needs their own name, she always said. You never want to have to live under another person's reputation, good or bad. And Grandmom always felt that names were important. Mrs. Dalton and Lois explained some of the church's history. It began under a large tree, a frame house which is wood, was the first building, then the cinder block that I remember, and now the brick. They called my attention to a big boulder rock. It was called a slave rock because of how it was used for the slave sales and auctions held on that site. The church always preserved the rock, building around it whenever a new structure was constructed. I touched it noticing the large crevices that would have been helpful if someone had to step on it. I felt a strange sense of warmth with a fleeting feel of knowing, as if my ancestors were welcoming me and giving me the gift of knowledge and insight. The understanding of how it felt to stand on that rock, to be sold, possibly to the nearby Circe Plantation, I felt those ancestors ask me why it took me so long to search for them. I closed my eyes as I absorbed the moment. I had no reasonable answer, but I'm here now and I'm on a quest to uncover all that I can. I hugged Mrs. Dalton and thanked her for all that she had done to make that day so special. Chanda and I are feeling very confident in the car because it is actually acting really fine so far. We headed back to the motel. We're about halfway there, just past our landmark, a big Walmart when suddenly a lot of noise. The car on a lonely highway in the dark and an old and a young woman alone. Oh Lord, are you with us? 